Welcome back to my channel. Now I know it's been like a good minute. I haven't been really making YouTube videos like that for the past month because I've been wrapping up with finals. But since finals is over, I am gonna be on my shit. I'm talking about two to three uploads a week. So I hope you guys are ready because I have a lot of shit that I want to talk about. But today we are back with one of my videos that I used to put out a lot, but I haven't put out um lately it's a hair review so i remember getting a comment i'm gonna post it here on the screen if i could find it but somebody asked me to do more hair reviews so of course i'm gonna deliver and of course i still want there to be like along with the talking shit side of my channel i still want there to be you know some beauty um elements some beauty videos that i could provide to my women who watch my youtube videos so today i'm gonna be reviewing this wig it is a little damp right now because I just wet it so I can have it nice and wavy. But, um, so yeah. I'm going to be reviewing this wig that I got on Amazon. It's super, super affordable. Literally only $100 for 20 inches. I do, it is true to length. It is, like right now it's wavy. But when it's straight, and I did cut probably like a half inch off. But it is true to length. It is very very long 20 inches for only a hundred dollars and for it to be a hundred percent human hair ladies that's a still any other any other vendor any other website a hundred human hair alone you're already looking at 150 now with length 20 inches 200 at least so this is definitely super affordable and super super like it's good like the i i won't lie when i when i wear this hair straight it does seem to like to be like a bit thin but that is all like up to the person because i know some females don't like you know the hair to be too thick and then some girls don't want the hair to be too thin so it's all up to personal taste and how you like your hair to be but for me personally i like very thick not too thick but i like thick hair like i don't want it to be super super thin as you can tell right now it looks pretty full but when it's straight mm -mm. and also i don't know why this side looks dark right now this side looks a little bit darker but i think it's because i wet it um a bit more and this side looks lighter but let's cover first let's cover the color so the color when i ordered this wig it was like a jet oh somebody just texted me okay it was a jet black color now i like lately i have been wearing like honey blonde blonde light brown wigs and i don't know why i just fell in love with like light colored wigs like back in high school two years ago all i would wear is black um 2b jet black 1b type wigs that's all i would wear and then i started experimenting a little bit but now i fell in love with like the ginger blonde look so i went ahead and i bleached and dyed the wig and this was the outcome of it i still got a little bit of like the black in the back like right here i didn't do that good of a job obviously because i'm not a hairstylist but in the back i still do have some of the jet black like you could even see it here too But yeah, this wig, I feel like this wig is super good for like beginners as well. Or just people who really want to experiment on like their wigs, but not like waste a shit ton of money. Like if you want to get a nice human hair wig and experiment and dye it blonde or dye it blue or dye it red, this is your wig to get because it's one, again, it's super affordable. You don't have to go buy a human hair wig that's 20 inches for freaking $300 then dye it when you get it and fuck it up because like then you're gonna be upset because that shit was $300 but with this one it's only $100 and you could customize it however you want now for the lace the lace only came it wasn't like it's not full lace so the lace is only from here to here and then on the side there's clips 
So I have two clips right here, have another clip right here, and one clip in the back. And then from here to here, there's lace. Now for me, I always do a middle part no matter what. I've had full lace wigs in the past before, like full lace, everything, full lace. And I still only wore it as a middle part. I didn't do no up hairstyles. I didn't do no braids. I didn't do anything but a middle part. For So for me, personally, I really like, like it, I, it doesn't bother me that the lace is only from hair to hair because I only wear my wigs in a middle part anyways. So again, it all depends on a person. So for me, I really liked it. And I also liked how I had room to work with, with like leaving some lace. I did leave some lace right now. I have it laid but not like slayed laid it's just laid so excuse how I laid it but I did leave some lace right here and I did pluck some baby hairs I did I don't I, I think it I'm, I honestly don't remember I'm not gonna say it came with baby hairs because I did remember creating my own baby hairs and I did pluck like the beginning and I plucked my part so again it didn't I don't like it didn't come with the part I made my own part and I made my own baby hairs. So everything that you see on my head right now, I did it myself from the color to the to the waves to the to the length, like I cut the length a little bit and to the plucking. So everything I did it myself, like I said, is a very great wig to customize. And it came with it did come with a wig cap, but the wig cap wasn't my skin color, so I went ahead and got my own wig caps. Or I just had my own wig caps, honestly. I didn't have to like go buy new wig caps, but the color that it comes with is like a light brownish color. And obviously I'm a dark, dark chocolate color. So I went and got a wig cap that matches my skin tone. It did come in this really cute silk bag, which I appreciate because um, when I wanna take my wig off, I'll just put it back in here in this nice silk bag. And I really like how it's silk. Um, some hair companies do send their wigs in a silk bag. But if you guys don't know, silk is really great for preventing split ends. And I don't know why, but recently I've been noticing that a lot of my human hair wigs get split ends very quickly from me just applying heat on it. And that's a me problem because I do not put hair protectant, heat protectant sprays or serums on my wigs because like honestly like i the reason why i'm wearing a wig is to protect my natural hair and then i feel like for me personally like doing all that extra shit to protect the wig is just like so much like i i honestly just like to put the wig on and go and for me to have to do x y and z to keep my wig maintained is just putting in work that i would have to put into my natural hair so i like to do the bare minimum with my wigs um so i was realizing after straightening my wigs it was getting like split ends and also when i take my wig off i usually just throw it on my chair or on my bed or on my dresser like i just throw it anywhere so i really like to have these silk baggies because one silk uh it prevents split ends so that's why i don't know if you read like hair blogs but they always say it's good to have nice i don't have silk pillows but it's good to have a nice silk pillowcase and if you wear a bonnet to sleep um it's nice to have a good silk bonnet because it prevents split ends so if you want to prevent split ends with um with your wig whenever you whenever you're not wearing your wig make sure you put it in a nice silk bonnet or if your hair company sent you a nice silk bag, put it back into the silk bag. So yeah, so I really appreciate them for sending that. And overall, when it comes to shedding, no shedding. I literally get no shedding, which I really, really appreciate because I've had wigs that I spent like 200, 300, $400 on and the shit was shedding. Right now, I don't have split ends. I only, I did apply heat to this hair like maybe four times already. And lately for the past week, I've been wearing it curly or slack, like wavy. So I haven't really been applying heat to it like that. And right now, no split ends, still no shedding. I've had this wig for a good two and a half weeks. 
no shedding no split ends and i really 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 appreciate that because i hate how i buy a wig that's 180 percent density and then i get it and the density drops because it's freaking shedding it's shedding so it's like now it's 120 percent density because it sheds so much so i really love this wig because one it's affordable two it doesn't shed three you could customize it easily and yeah what's not to love really 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 love it like um the only downside again for me is like when you do straighten it it is pretty thin um i'll put a picture here on the screen and of me with, with it straightened and then me with it how it is now but yeah that's really the only downside other than that i really fucking love this wig like look at the curls oh also how it takes the product um I don't put that much product on there I only for the curls I put just water and like this silicone cream and these are the waves that I got and I think when I was straightening it I had I started using I started using a heat protectant serum because I've learned my lesson from my other wigs but um, it doesn't like when you put product on here also like I'm very like for me i've been i've learned my lesson from the past but i try not to put too much but again like the way that i just naturally am i feel like the more product the better but the way it takes to having product on there is pretty good it doesn't like it doesn't get heavy like i don't know how to explain it but it doesn't like you know how you like put a lot of a lot of product on your hair or on a wig and then when it's time to style it it's like almost being weighed down by the product or it looks too greasy or it looks too like heavy this wig doesn't do that it takes the product very well so that's also a plus which i really really enjoy because i mean sometimes for me it's really hard to hold back on product especially like just I don't know i just feel like the more product the better like the more heat protectant serum the better the more silicone mix the better so, so my curls could come out nice and smell good so that's just me but yeah what else can i say about this wig again it's true to length for a hundred bucks 20 inches for a hundred dollars true to length and also again i did cut half an inch off so it's right here and I'm not pulling it like I'm not yanking it I'm just literally like look it's true to length so yeah and this is the color I put in it it's more like a reddish light brown <sighs> Let me turn this down so yeah <laughs> um anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this wig review again i really really love this wig i will definitely be buying again because it's super affordable and honestly that's my only thing like i'll be switching it up from human hair to synthetic to human hair to synthetic because nobody has time to be spending two to three hundred dollars every couple months on a new human hair wig uh, for me i don't think i've ever kept a human hair wig no longer than two and a half three months so that's like the time period where i start buying a new wig or start looking at new wigs to get it's the three month marking period after having my previous wig so nobody has time to be spending 300 dollars every three months on a wig so this is just super super affordable like again like i said only 100 dollars is a still is a still is a still because customizable true to length 20 inches you also get enough lace to work with doesn't shed like this wig is honestly so amazing all right i'm gonna shut up now because i feel like i'm just repeating myself but yeah overall this wig is a 10 out of 10 honestly i definitely recommend especially if you're a beginner and you don't want to spend too much money or if you just love to customize your customize your wigs and you don't want to spend money on a 300 dollars wig to customize it definitely get this one Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Mwah. Bye, guys.